I am from Titov Velis. You both are sisters, and you are? Teona Mitevska, Teona Struga Mitevska, and I'm Labina Mitevska. So, are you ladies having a wonderful time at the Palm Springs International Film Festival? Yes, yes, wonderful. It's a, uh, it's uh, actually a great place. Huh? In the middle of the desert, it's uh, yes. it's uh, so strange for us. It's not common to see this kind of environment. Uh, uh, it's really <laughs> the terrain is uh, beautiful and the color, lighting, everything. Is it wonderful? And it's your first time here, obviously. First, first, first. Okay. not your last though. No. No, definitely. I, I'm planning to get a house next year. No. <laughs> <laughs> Your film, I Am from Tito Velas. Wow. It's like a work of art with music and, and motion. It's so interesting. And you actually live there, right? Um, no, actually, we are from Skopje. Oh. But Macedonia is very small. So Velas, it's 30 minutes away. away. Yes, away. yes. So if you were to describe it, like the plot line, uh, how would you summarize it in a few sentences? Well, I could summarize it two ways. Uh, in terms of story, it's a story of women. Really, women in a small town environment, women in the Balkans, women trying to find their way, uh, their future in a, uh, in a small town as Veles is. Uh, and then the Balkan city is a macho world. So is it still, it, parts of the world in, in that area are still very macho? Definitely, definitely, it's a, it's a, it's a macho. It's a, the the film speaks. So these women, uh, that's why I chose three women. Each of them tries to find uh, their way uh, in their own terms uh, in uh, this uh, place uh, that it's not uh, so common. You know, uh, um, the women rights and uh, conditions of women uh, have uh, gone uh, uh, further in uh, m most places in the world but um, of course it's not only about that it's about family but for me as an artist uh, it, is, it was a film about finding beauty in uh, uncomfortable places and the film takes place in a very industrialized polluted environment where you ladies are like little butterflies flying around a very dark background of industrialization and macho men um, are you trying to send a message to the world that uh, you are trying to change your your uh, country, make it a little bit more female friendly? And uh, is it an environmental message, uh, or is it just an artistic expression of what is happening in your country? It's uh, everything, always uh, artistic um, expression, but always a message. And you said it really. This three Your film is very beautiful. <laughs> these three women, uh, like butterflies, very nicely said. Um, yes, yeah, I, I agree with everything. Well, I love my butterfly pin from the brunch yesterday, and that was that kind of summed it up without having to say anything. It it looked to me like a beautiful butterfly that was flying in this very polluted, dark macho environment and trying to make its way to uh, another world that was more um, hospitable for women and very colorful and and a world where one could flourish and create exactly and uh, when you mentioned the environment environment what happened in uh, Macedonia Balkans and um, ex uh, eastern uh, european countries uh, w within the transition from communism to uh, capitalism and whatever it is today we have forgotten it's more a matter of uh, survival bringing food to the table so we forget about the important things we forget about environment so we really are abusing or we are not even informing ourselves well enough about the we live and the effect that in the, uh, the industrial, the factories, the pollution has on us. And what about the future? What about our kids? So um, I, it is our responsibility to, to uh, at least, I don't believe that we can change, we cannot make a revolution, but at least we can raise certain important questions as environment is. Uh, so uh, you, you make a, a point about it and maybe uh, people will start thinking, uh, maybe you make a little, little change in, the, in, um, in, in this place, no? 
Did you get any flack from making this film? Did you have any political pressures exerted upon you? No, flag is um, political. No, no, no. Um, I think uh, what uh, in this transition between communism and uh, capitalism, what uh, has given us, uh, it has really given us freedom of expression. Really, I, I could uh, freely say we have, uh, yes, there are many problems, but there is, uh, if you, we can call it, really democracy in, in terms of this uh, you you if you see the film you wouldn't say it's not a film that it's glorifying at all our environment but never, never really we really have a freedom of uh, uh, artistic expression I've never uh, I, I don't know yeah. I never or have uh, not that uh, 20 years ago it used to happen yes. of course but not not today so your film has toured around the world. You've been to many different places and won numerous awards. And what was your most memorable film festival? Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm from there, and, and us, our Canadian audience here. Tell me about Toronto. Uh, it was great. She can speak. You want to say something? Yeah, it was a um, it was great experience, and it's a beautiful festival. And the selector who chose the the film really um, loved. He really appreciate it. And, and we talk with own often. I think Toronto is one of the, uh, the, the has one of the best audience, really very clever and very, very educated audience. So it was such a pleasure to show them the film and to have a discussion with them about the film. And not only that, we were also, yes, about the festival, but we were amazed about the diversity, how diverse. Yes. Amazing. So many cultures mixing together. So then, of course, these people come to see their film with their all different backgrounds. It was really, really, really uh, it was, uh, it was, we, uh, we, uh, we, we, uh, of course, it was our first festival with this film. So it was uh, quite, uh, yes. And in Toronto, uh, the selector from Berlin saw it and they invite us at Berlin. Yeah, film. Exactly. Yeah. So that was Toronto for us was really the height line. Yeah. Toronto, I think, is a barometer for a lot of different films and, and especially art house type films. And that's just wonderful that you were so well received then. So I have to ask now, since you've done this film, Film. What kind of direction are you going in now? What What are you working on next? Well, I'm preparing a film. It's a working title, Market, and it's a um, futuristic film. Um, it happens uh, 50 years later in the Balkans, in Europe, and it's a story of... Um, we wanted to... This time, we were thinking a lot. We wanted to tell a story of... Um, uh, uh, older woman, like a mature woman. So the main character, she's a woman, and it's, it is um, a story of her finding, um, well, rediscovering herself. Uh, but it starts, uh, well, I'm not going to speak more now. <laughs> I was about to tell you how it starts. No, no we can't go there. No, but uh, it, it is... Uh, uh, I'm actually very, very exciting. It will be very ambitious and very uh, complicated. And again, uh, we believe in a, a film as a visual form. So we really, uh, in every film, we try to 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 press on this film. Yes. For, foremost, it is a visual art form, and let's let's push this and let's. So it will be a visual experience, visual and emotional experience that hits you uh, uh, in your stomach and <laughs> then you uh, then you travel through beauty and experience. So if people want to know more about your films and what you've worked on in your upcoming films, you have a website, right? Uh, com. Well, thank you so much. I wish you the best, and I look forward to your next film. Thank you very much.